Hey guys, so today is October 26th and I thought that I would film my October monthly favorites. I haven't done a monthly favorites in a while um, and I kind of miss it. And I've actually had a lot of products that I've loved using and I pretty much there for a while was doing my makeup every day. Um, I have quite a few things to talk about and also everything that I'm talking about is going to be listed down below. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. I absolutely love it. It corrects my um, skin tone and the texture, and it also moisturizes. It's a really great product that I absolutely have to have. It's a $15 moisturizer, but it works wonders. It is to prime my face, and I love using the uh, Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. It's just the original one. This happens to be a deluxe sample size, um, and I just can't get enough. It is a silicone base, so if you don't like silicone based primers, you won't like this, but when you apply it, you want to press it into your pores. And I only focus this around areas that I have large pores, which is my cheeks, my nose, and also I'll put it anywhere that might be dry that day. So sometimes like here and sometimes here in between the brows. So it just really depends. It's a really great, um, just depends on what I'm feeling that day or how my skin is, but it's a really great primer and I always talk about it. It's definitely worth the money. For foundation, it has to be the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. Clearly, I've used it a ton and I have about that much left. It's a great product, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave the link to the review that I did for it down below. It's also me demoing it out. I just love it. It's a perfect color for me. Um, it's a number 10 porcelain, so if you are super fair like a ghost um, and just super pale, this is perfect for you. Um, and the only thing is that it's not the right tone for me, so I just fixed it with a correcting powder, which I will show you guys here in a second. For that correcting powder I was telling you guys about, this is by Physician This is by Physicians Formula, and it's just a um, multicolored disc. I'm not exactly sure what this is called. I did get it from Burlington Factory and the label wasn't on here at all, but I have listed it down below in several other videos and I will list it down below again. But it's a great product for correcting the tone and it just adds a little bit more yellow to the skin tone, which is what I kind of have. Um, so yeah, this is a really great product and it looks super like flawless when you set your foundation in it basically. For contouring the face, I am always using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Highlighting Brow Kit, and that sounds a little weird to be using as a contour, but I've been using these shades over here. I like to use the lightest shade and the middle shade here for the contouring. I don't ever pick up this dark chocolate color. I never do, but I always use these two shades, and I'm almost gone, which is super sad. And I did this before Anastasia came out with her own contouring kit. I was just like, whatever, these look like they would be the right shades to contour with, and I've always done that. And then she came out with her own contouring thing, so I was like, nay, I'm going to still continue to use this, but I might pick up that. I'm not 100% sure yet. This is another thing that's actually dual purpose. I really love it for the eyes, but I use it as a highlight today, and I kind of feel like it's a little bit reminiscent of Champagne Pop. This is the Sephora Eyeshadow in Peach Beige number 13. This is a deluxe sample size. When you use it wet, it's absolutely gorgeous on the eyes, and I'm using it today on the eyes. But it's just a really beautiful peachy kind of shade, and um, I've got it on the tops of my cheeks and my nose and all of that. It's a beautiful shade. I really, really love it and I would definitely pick this up again. Continuing on with the eyes, I did lose the little cap for this and this is a little sample size of it, I do believe, because it came with something hard candy, but I didn't like it as much. This is the hard candy eyeshadow primer and I do actually like this. If you have oily eyelids, I'm not sure how it would do, but I just have like normal regular eyelids and that's it. It lasts a pretty decent amount of time, not as long as a MAC Painterly Paint Pot or anything like that, but it's pretty good and you don't have to spend $20. Um, so I really like it. I definitely recommend it for you guys. It is a silicone based thing again, so if you don't like it, you're not going to like this. This Urban Decay Pulp Fiction palette has got to be a number one for me. I love every single shade in here, but you'll see which ones I use the most. So this was just a little palette. I'm not sure if this is actually full size or anything, but I picked it up at Nordstrom Rack. So definitely check out a Nordstrom Rack for any kind of makeup, um, just because they've had Lorac there before and just tons of other things. So definitely check it out. My favorite colors would have to be... Actually, I only have one, and it's Tyranny. I absolutely love Tyranny out of this palette. It's a beautiful, warm chocolate shade, or just a warm brown. It's not showing up like that on camera. 
so colors must be washed out but that's exactly how it looks on the eye these shadows are so buttery and creamy they are beautiful for lining the eyes these two little cuties got have got to be a must-have for me um, the Jordana Fabuliner liquid eyeliner is super inexpensive and it does the job to make that easy cat eye look um, it's just a felt tipped liquid pen and it just makes the darkest black it's really awesome and it doesn't bleed and it's super cheap I think this is a dollar fifty or maybe two fifty so super inexpensive and it's lasted me quite a while and then the, the next one is just an oldie but it's such a goodie this is the Milani um, eyeliner pencil in true black and it's so black it glides on the waterline so nicely and there it is swatched and the waterline the tight line it's just wonderful for smoking out it's nice and creamy it's super black I can keep going but I won't then the mascara that I have to use every single day is the love alpha transplanting gel mascara this is just the um, gel part it's not the fake fibers this is just the gel part it has a beautiful hourglass shaped wand and it gives you uh, volume and a little bit of length too this is such a great product it also holds your curl very nicely I have a review for this so I'm gonna link it down below for you guys to go check out and that in within that video in that down bar you can go and purchase it so uh, yeah I get mine on Amazon but it's just amazing guys so going a little bit higher and onto the eyebrows, this is the Ulta Expert Eyebrow Kit or whatever. This is again a sample size, but I would definitely buy the full size. The full size costs like 12 bucks, um, and then sometimes they have a sale and you can get it for like 4 It's the cheapest I've ever seen it on sale, but $12 is not bad. It comes with a wax and two brow powders. I've been using the lightest one um, every day and I've never touched this dark one ever. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. It's super inexpensive and it's by the Ulta brand and it actually works really well. Again, I have a, a review for this, so it's going to be linked down below for you guys to go check out and purchase it yourself. I also have some lippy favorites and to start your lips, you always have to moisturize. So the Jack Black Lip Balm in Natural Mint is a must have go to grab it for yourself. It is $7.50, but I do not care. I've never used a lip product as good as this. It comes in a tube like this and you can buy it at Ulta and it is in the men's section I think um, but I don't even care. It works so good. Um, if you have super severe dry lips, my boyfriend uses this and he always gets like super dry weathered lips or whatever and they're just like no 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 gotta moisturize and this works really well for him too and it works really good for me too just cut yourself with it just cut yourself with it of course to keep that long lasting lip you definitely have to line your lips to keep everything in the perimeter so this is the Revlon color stay lip liner in plum and it's a beautiful dark cranberry shade it's a little purpley but not too much and it's a really great color I absolutely love it. I like wearing it as a lip liner or all over the lips for a nice matte lip look. Another favorite is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color, and this one happens to be in Wine. This formula is amazing, so any color that you get is going to be bomb. But I currently am loving the one in Wine. I have the shade Tea Rose and Natural as well, but this one is my current favorite just because it's the color and it's beautiful it's not super matte though where you actually look like there is no shine happening on your lips it does have a tiny bit of shine so it is a bit of a modern matte if you will then I have three lip glosses to top any look off um, I'm gonna start with the bare minerals marvelous moxie this is a sample size it came in a little kit or something from the bare minerals outlet this one happens to be in feme or just kidding this one happens to be in Femme Fatale or something like that. I don't know. And I'm going to swatch it for you. And I'm wearing it on the top of my lips today, but I want you to see how pigmented it is. So let's do this. Pretty wine color. And if you can see in the tube here, it's got some beautiful sparkliness to it. I think this will be great for the winter time as well. So yes. Also, these are nice and tingly and cooling. And I really like that about them as well. 
it keeps your breath smelling good too. Another favorite is the Too Faced Glamour Gloss and this one happens to be in Peekaboo. I actually love this formula. It plumps your lips up and it has color to it. And this one is a nice mauve kind of plum shade that I can't get enough. It's super super duper pigmented so let me just show you for yourself it is a stickier gloss but i don't mind that but here it is up here but i'm going to show you guys right here look how pigmented and this one also has a tingly feeling because it is plumping the lips the other one doesn't say that it plumps the lips but i think it might but i don't really know 100 percent. and then another favorite happens to be the lorac um, Couture Shine in Sheer Luxe Grand Luxe and this is a cream um, gloss so there's no shimmer in it it's just a cream finish and um, the only thing I don't like about Lorac's lip glosses is that they taste really weird they smell fine but they t have a weird taste so if you lick your lips you're like what but um, this one is a these are a little bit more sheer this is a sample as well um, or like a deluxe size or whatever I got it in a kit and it's right here It's it is a little bit more sheer, but I do like it and it's a little bit more on the berry side So that's it for my October makeup favorites I might be doing a hair and body one as well just separate because I didn't want this video to be super duper long If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down there If you're not subscribed so you can be updated every time I upload a new video. I will see you guys at my next one. Bye